Hi, today I want to talk to you about what's going on in my practice and it's the month of December and it's the season for people to get sick. Uh, coughs are going around, colds, running noses, etc. Is, is happening. So I wanted to share what I do with my moms uh, with my YouTube family. So what I first advise is vitamin C and garlic. With vitamin C, try to find 250 milligrams, and you would take that every two to four hours um, until you're feeling better, which, you know, no more than five days, but, you know, you should be feeling better after a few days. Um, you can, t you know, if you can only find 500 and you can't get down to the 250, that's fine. Uh, like with any other supplement, you pee out the excess, so it's not better if you get 500 or 1,000. Uh, using it over the course of the day over the course of the day is better um, And then garlic you can of course eat raw garlic throughout the day. That's perfect if you don't have it don't want to uh, Get garlic capsules. They're odorless and you take those I take a couple um, Every couple hours uh, again till I'm feeling better and I also use this regimen with my mom's who have mastitis I put them right on the vitamin C and the garlic and that seems to help within 24 hours now there's other things you can do uh, in addition to to that. So I have a handy dandy sheet from Lisa Goldstein, who's a CNM and CPM, and she's in Asheville, North Carolina, and she has this tremendous homeopathy and herbal workshop that she does for birth workers. And so I took it at one point, and she's got this handout which is called "What are some things that you can do for colds, flu, and other respiratory conditions?" And it's it's handy. I give it out to all my moms every time someone tells me they're sick. I'm like, here, hold on, let me give you this handout. So Lisa advises a steam vaporizer, not cold mist because of the breeding germs. Um, staying hydrated. I point out to my moms that you know there's more mucus production, whether it's through coughing runny nose, whatever it is, you got more mucus you're producing. Um, so what you want to do is make sure your fluids are up to par and even beyond what you usually drink um, so that your body can stay hydrated. Uh, avoiding dairy is really good at this time. It's just going to increase your mucus production and you don't need that at this point. Um, Lisa likes to suggest saline nose sprays. You can just buy that, make it, use it in coordination with a neti pot. Neti is spelled N-E-T-I. And it's a pot that helps you get uh, like saline water up through one nostril and down through the other. And it really flushes your, your nasal passages and people with allergies swear by it. Um, for immune boosting, uh, you can do more than just vitamin C and garlic. You can do echinacea. Um, some of my moms do echinacea tea, and that's great. Um, when you're sick, you can use two to three droppers of the uh, extract. Um, you can do two to three droppers um, three to four times a day. And the thing with uh, using echinacea, you know, you'll, you'll use less if you're not sick, if you're just using it for immunity. Um, is you only do it for three weeks at a time. You have to pulse it with your system. So three weeks on, one week off. Um, so you can do echinacea. Um, you can also do grapefruit seed extract and it is very potent, it's very good stuff. Um, you can do like 10 drops in a cup of water or juice and you can do that two to four times a day. And that is very potent, I've had it. Um, you can do, um, elderberry syrup. Um, I grow elderberries in my backyard and so I pick them when they're ripe, right before the birds are trying to get them, and then I dry them out back and then um, I make a syrup with them um, with honey and I boil them down and um, then I've got a syrup uh, for my family to use. Um, you can also get it commercially. You can get it at your local drugstore. You can get it at Amazon. It's just elderberry syrup and it's really good for immunity. It's good for when you're sick. It's just elderberry syrup is something to have in the cabinet. Um, you can do massaging of points. So right up here, if you're having sinus pressure, you know, right up here in the middle and then right down here. And you do this for a minute at a time right here. And that's very helpful. Um, 
if you're having chest congestion, your, a natural expectorant is mullen. So you can, mullen is M-U-L-L-E-I-N. You can look up mel, mullen. Um, um, a sore throat. So moms will tell me I've got a sore throat. And my first go-to is slippery elm. So you can find slippery elm lozenges. Or what you can also do is get slippery elm capsules and uh, if you've got some good honey you can roll them roll it together you know make a little like a little pastille you know a little lozenge with the honey and the slippery elm and then you just suck on those they are fabulous makes the throat feel so much better um, and and elderberry syrup is also good for sore throat and um, my main thing is, you know, making sure you're resting as much as possible, getting even more rest than you already are. Um, you know, it helps sleep, helps the body to heal itself. Um, and just, you know, staying hydrated. Hydrated, um, eating, if you can't, if, you, if your appetite is off, nice bone broth, you know, you know, nice clear liquids, um, soup. You know, you can get um, some stock or something, something very healthy for you. That if you're going to eat something with only clear liquids, liquids, that it's really good for your system. So I hope you feel better, and I hope that this helps you. I hope you subscribe to Northern Virginia Midwifery's YouTube channel. I have lots more information to share with you, and it'll let you know when I've got something new uploaded.